When I would play against the boys, they all joke about how I used to um, run rings around them. Girls who didn't get the chance to play, now they can watch women as well and it gives them the confidence to play as well. It's a little bit of a funny story to be honest. I played with the boys in Aussie Rules and once you hit about 11, 12, the boys start to grow a little bit quicker than girls do. So I came home with a few bloody lips and black eyes, which I had no problem about, by the way. I absolutely loved getting in with the boys. I think it's helped me now. Like the boys, you know, play at a little bit of a faster speed at that age. So um, yeah, I think it developed my skills. I'm Becca and I like playing football. It's amazing that girls can play football and boys always say that girls can't play football but actually girls can. I must have been about four or five and I remember just dribbling around all these boys. When I went back in and I was like, Mom, like, I dribbled around all these boys and it was like Coke cans on the, you know, it was really quite street football. And I really remember just feeling that sense of like, oh, I belong. I started at a young age, I started at about six. Um, I started playing with my brother in the garden and then he went and joined a football team. So I started to join in and then I did a trial at Chelsea and I got in and then I've been here ever since. The journey began just kicking the ball about in the back garden with my grandfather and my dad as well. We'd be out till all hours, literally until it got dark and I couldn't see. I just loved football at that age and I think at that age it's really important that you just enjoy it. It actually started really young, like my mum always says when I was really young. You know when you get one of those bounces when you put your kid in it? There was a little ball on the floor and I like bounced over and kicked it and I kept doing it and she was like, that's really weird. And from then I was literally obsessed with football. Hi, my name's Sophia and I coach car shorts and athletic. As I got older, I found girls teams and that's when I started getting into it more, saying, oh, it's okay, girls can play football, not just boys, and it made me fall in love more. I'm Danielle and I play for Clapham United. My mum's side of the family is Dutch, so it's kind of in their blood. My parents drove a lot for me and having that support from them and everyone else behind me was incredible. I've been playing football since I was eight uh, for various clubs. Football has sort of always been part of my life. My mum has always been into football. Um, it was her that kind of got me into it. She didn't have the opportunities that I had growing up. She wasn't able to join a women's team, so I kind I kind of felt like I was fulfilling um, what she wasn't able to do as a child by joining the team. Very glad that I was there from like, you know, a time where people were fighting for all of this stuff and the people that came before us, you know, did even harder work than us and we've kind of seen the big change but, you know, those girls fought for little changes that help us now. Hi, I'm Gabby, I'm nine years old and I love football. It's just quite inspirational for other people now, especially girls who didn't get the chance to play. Now they can watch women as well and it gives them the confidence to play as well. It makes me feel happy because I'm always with my teammates every Wednesday and Sunday. Playing for Chelsea, my club, is something that I did not imagine that would actually happen. And I think now that it's happening, I, c I can't imagine it even getting any better. There are a lot more opportunities for girls to think it's totally normal to go and play and it's, they have, it's very easy for them to find a, a girls football team but I think if we can continue this progression we're making up for lost time to sort of grow the game but um, it's definitely on the right track.